all right hello everybody one more time in this new cast this time we're going to cast please clap versus black hearts booty so i'm doing this cast especially because one of the viewers that was hydra asked me to do it for her and um this is what we have today so these guys are already ready and it kind of a little bit late and my apologize so I'm going to introduce the teams real quick. So in team one we have please clap, and the captain is Lazy Hydra, which is flexible. Says so that it's flexible in the hero launch profile, and she plays Anubarak, the Haka, Diablo, Johanna, Irel, and Etc. I put Elite Tower and Cheese because really few persons knows the. What ETC means is the lead tower in chief. <laughs> Luther, that is flexible, played Thralls, ETC, Alex Trust, the Hacker, and Win, and Keltuchad. <laughs> Keltuchad was my favorite name when I was doing this. It's like, okay. And he plays Assassin, Alarak, Keltuchad, of course, and Sukov. Lissando, that is flexible with Diablo, Artan is Brywin Garage. Golden, flexible with Chance, Leoric, Genji, Phoenix, Thrall. And Jake Martz that plays Tyrannal, Alex Trez, and Jaina. And in the team two, for Black Hearts Booty, we have Jilan, and that is the captain. There's Tang also with Johanna, Anubarek, Artanis, sorry, Arthas, Piquet Yu. <laughs> it's flexible with Rainer Murkin and Zeebo Falstad, McFlam, Sylvanas, and Stitches, Lily Blaze. Town Wall with Cars and Barry and Rhaegar and Lucio and, ben and Ventur with the Garage, Chromie and Rexar. Yeah, I have to remember you all that this information comes from Hero Launch, so it's not always completely awkward, but it gives everybody an idea to what are they going to play. They already started and they're already doing the map bands. So I'm going to go ahead on and, and show up. So they are banning. Tomb of the Spider, um, Tomb of the Spider's Queen. There we go. They are banning Dragon, the Dragon Map. They are banning the Sky Temple. And they are banning for less. Towers of Doom. So these are the four bands. I'm going right away with the lobby because they are in the lobby waiting for me. I'm so sorry. And just to make sure, okay, everything is fine. Okay, I'm ready. <laughs> Let me fix this real quick with my sound. Perfect. All right. So, yeah, funny at least time they actually make the teams in order. They are in the right colors, and they are picking Volskaya Industry. All right. So one more time, Please Clap is in the left side with the blue team and Black Hearts Booty is in the right side with the red team. So they're banning Artas for Please Clap. There are the nine Sylvanas. All right, we sell some Sylvanas over there. A new barrack. And 
And the Alarag. Let's save some lives. And they're picking Morales. I wasn't expecting Morales. Alright. It's really weird when somebody do Morales first pick because Morales you can just pick right away a counter for her. Let's see how this Morales can take care of well of herself. And they're taking Garage and Hanzo. With honor, redemption. Looks like they're looking for some... My hatred is ooh, ooh my Conqueror. god, don't no, forget about it, they're gonna boost that Illidan like crazy. <laughs> they're gonna be, let me see if I predict well, Illidan will be a steam pig and now they're gonna give him a crazy insane hat with tag speed. <laughs> they have to get some sort of damage reduction or attack speed reduction or some sort of C the stem Illidan like right away and everyone can focus fire on him and forget about those three guys so if Illidan dies it will make their composition pretty useless so hopefully the other two pings from Tomewall and Bentour will be something that related to could be help with that composition they're doing, like I mean some sort of tank or some sort of bruiser, well in this case like range damage is what they're missing that can be boost too with attack speed I <laughs> think getting out of Nuther, oh my god they have a lot of confidence in that hands of DPS I mean <laughs> I mean I was thinking to somebody pick Uther so they can focus fire Illidan but if you're going to lock down Illidan, you need the damage to stun him and sorry, you need the damage to kill him as fast as you can and they're playing without a tank. This is crazy. This is crazy. I think I feel like this is the first cast that I'm looking that these guys are not picking a tank. Alright, who is going to be the solo laner for Please Clap? Is it time for Hydra to do the last peek to see how it's going to go. We will and Varian. <laughs> Alright. This is going to be crazy to cast. I'm so excited to see what's going to happen. I wasn't expecting the, the Black Hearts booty composition at all. I'm really surprised. We will see where, how they're gonna plan. They're probably gonna make a Tazar and Ilya lane. And by the way, uh, Blackheart's booty is doing double support too. I mean, I have I know that sometimes it's good to go double support, but usually when you go double support, it's like two supports and one tank and two DPS or two supports. Two tanks and one DPS, but they don't even have a tank. <laughs> this is gonna be crazy. I will see. I wonder how they are going to do, how they're going to start to reach the camps. So. We got for please clap Byron in Hydra Anna Wolf is playing Anna Luther is playing Hansa Golden is playing Uther and Lysander is playing Garish from Blackheart Spitty Gilliam is playing Illidan Mike playing is playing Abatur Morales is played by Crispus Crispim Karasim for Townwall and Tassa for Ventur. Let's check out real quick the talents level one to take in. Looks like Hanzo is going to scatter arrow. Uther is going for stun reduction with his basic attack with some mana bag. Morales is going for shields. They are these two are going for get Atasar is going for globes. Anna is going to sleep. 
and start the mini team five pokes. Out there already placed some mines to give some vision. And there comes the focus fire on Illy then. Oh, that was close. Out there just saved Illy then with that shield. Meanwhile, is Tassa is soaking the top lane. They already lost three minions in this wave. Because actually Tassa is not that fast for sure. In the bottom lane we have a <laughs> Baryan with Karazin. And Karazin had given him weapon. This character have to go attack speed for sure. <laughs> now my tour is... Uh, uh, man, your body's outside. Okay. <laughs> so look at this. He is putting some vision in this bush to see when they're passing by. They're already starting their camp. Black booty. Black heart booty is starting their camp as well. They have to be careful when they <laughs> object to start because it started to get full of mines. I don't know if I would throw his and then <laughs> getting in there in the door. Then trying to mess with Illy then. I really want to see how because I know they can lock down Illy then. But what concerns me is will they have the damage enough to kill him fast enough while he's still locked down. So there is two supports in the top lane. They are starting this camp. Black's heart booty doesn't know. They got the heals and some extra SP. They're just a little bit more ahead in XP, but it's still quite even. Other thing is the. Uh, I don't think you guys know how to heal him. Oh, he went down! Oh, bravo! <laughs> That's the luck that you were <laughs> waiting. So they have Uther Stance plus Anna Sleeve plus Baryon Town. Forget about Ilium. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> so I was I was about to say the Hydra needs needs to finish the objectives faster as they can because um, if they don't, out they're gonna set quite good XP while they are fighting in the objective. So Hydra is ahead to start channeling this thing. I always like it to be the one who starts channeling because even when this fight is starts in here and the people is fighting trying to get the spot, uh, the time is still running for the person that first kept it. And there comes, there comes Black Heart Booty. They are thinking and getting there. It's Tazadar Morales. With Ilian. Ilian have all the responsibility to keep up in his team. Oh, Morales locked down. <laughs> Sorry, Hibarian locked down Morales and by Morales. You only count with Avatar and Tassa. Where is Karazin? Apparently, apparently Karazin don't want to go to have talent level 7. The talent to level 7. They're not really planning on contesting. There he comes, it's like we have to go or they're gonna, or they're gonna get this. It's not time for level seven. So they're coming in, Illy then is stepping in. Karasing is trying to dive in with Illidan, so Illidan doesn't have all the aggro, but they don't have more Alice and they don't have heals, so Tassadar only was able to help Illidan to get out of there. And please clap is taking the first objective, the first protector, and it's the time when they are using the laser to do some damage instead of doing using instead of using the force. And Eden is going for Hansel. Or not anymore. And now it's with the protector. The protector is going to take top, but when they just know the outer is there too. Come on out, you have to go. The pro will try to get the the, the, the water and Hansel is really low. Byron is trying to save him with the town. He actually was able to save him with the town. That was really close, Hansel. Don't forget you are the only assassin, you kinda die that easily. And they are still trying to knock down Illidan. And the other impressive thing, they actually took Anna to counter Illidan's healing. It's just he'll have to lock a, put a grenade on him and forget about his self healing. It's like, please clap half all the ways to counter Illidan in this composition. Yeah. 
for now is, is a PvP, a support PvP in Baron. <laughs> Zulder versus Karas and they keep putting they keep doing pressure in the top lane and that has are almost died, it was so close. And they're not gonna stop till they get the water. Thank you baby for the water. And they are leaving, they're probably going to spam this camp. Karasing is trying to sell in the Torah camp. Avatar is, I think, a little bit shy now, but he cannot expose too much himself right now. He gets an extra SP soak because they actually didn't take it long enough in the objective where he actually get out with his body and stuck with the body. So this is the moment when Please Clap is doing their camp. And it's done. Other thing that trolls Ely them for doing his job is that also Uther. Oh. Every time when Uther heals in his passive in his trade, he gives armor. So they are literally picking everything to counter Illidan in this game. So pick Morales and Illidan like right away guys is kinda obvious where your intentions are and let please tap to literally counter pick your composition so bad. So they are defending the bottom wave. They're just roaming around, they keep trying to keep to put pressure in the top lane. If we're not enough, CCs, Garus Dog Town too. <laughs> it's like, I do have like a bunch of CCs over there. Illidan gets mad and get in there. I'm so tired of your CC. I'm going for that Garus because they have the heal item they're one for. Do the Anna drop me a grenade in my face. And there goes the steam pack completely for nothing. So the objective is about the spam. It's at 7 seconds it, and they already have two heroic sync cooldown, they have a really big cooldown. I'm having my doubts about if they're actually going to contest. So, talking about items... Baryan have a turret, Garish have the heals, and the red thing have one turret with Karasin. So, they are trying to contest, Eden is going in, Eden is getting to see kind of move at all, he's trying to go away, he gets to see one more time, he learned he can't do anything, there goes Varian trying to get Morales, but it wasn't close enough, he couldn't make the town, the Karasin is just trying to get some punches then, Illida go town, go drop, go to stun over again, <laughs> got a, got a grenade, <laughs> by the way, Anna's grenade counters that divine Paul Karasin, Not many persons know. Oh, there you go. There you. They're just getting lit. Many persons don't know that Ana. The reason of Ana being banned in many games is because she's a healer that counters healers. It's kind of it's kind of ironic and ridiculous, but it's true. So if you get the divine Paul and you drop the grenade on the person that is about to be resurrected, the person don't get resurrected with HP back. If I'm not wrong, I think that's how it works. You can counter the divine pal just like the regular heroic heal. You can just drop the grenade and the person will get shit back. <laughs> so they are going for the heals over again. I don't know why Abathur is not sucking with his body. He should be if he knows that everybody is in top, he should be trying to double soak, like soak in here with his body and the mid lane with his hat. Oh, there comes the fight over again, their CC, they go down, the Divine Paul, Eden is trying to get out with his heroic, is really low, Karasin is low too, there goes the Illidan copy. They actually got a kill in Ana. Illidan is running for his life, we have no life. And Tazer is going to die, Morel is going to die as well. So, yeah, something that I was talking about is, if you know the... You can soak with the head, but you can also soak with your body. I was saying that he can put like his body here and push like the mid lane or something like that with the head. So you can actually double soak. 
So, I want to do predictions kind of pretty obviously what's going to happen if Blackheart's booty find out the way to come back in this game, it will be completely amazing because I don't think that it's a way to they can actually even win a fight. So there it goes, Ilya is trying to chase Uther. He's trying to hard, he got Avatar has for attack speed, the protector is trying to be used to try to help in Uther. There comes Anna to save him! And <laughs> Anna save him! Good job, Wolf. There goes Karas and Karas and have to Karas and you back in your Morales. But never mind, I don't want to do it anymore. Oh my god, he's so close to die. Someone please do the last Ooh, there you go. <laughs> there you go, the last hit that we're missing. So yeah. Barion is going ahead to try to steal their camp. They can't do it, they're freaking three levels ahead. They're literally at this point of the game, they can do whatever they want. That will not matter. So whatever plan you do in this situation will work. Because you don't only have three levels ahead, you literally have a composition that completely counters the enemy team composition, so So in here, they're trying to push lanes back, defend the catapults, the mercenaries. But what? While please clap is just getting camps, they're now pressing on Bonin. They know the next objective is in Bonin. So they're trying to break as much as they can so that with the direct, the, sorry, the protector. There you go, Tazadar. I don't think you're gonna make it, Tazadar. Mm -hmm. Um, hmm. I don't know about going uh, Archon, maybe the wall could be more useful, I'm not really sure about that, but well, Police Club is going ahead to break the bottom for because they know that the next objective protector comes from the bottom, they can just go right away the protector to finish the keep. This looks like such an easy game for Hydra, Ting with pl Please Club at name. Easy then is over extending a little bit, pushing this catapult. I have to be careful because this didn't have a bunch of lugs on you. They are summoning their heal camp. I say there is supposed to be nail troopers, completely theirs. Baron is trying to look for a gang or he was just a scouting. There it goes, the first luck goes to town, goes some hands of damage. Anna <laughs> I don't know what was that, Hanzo? Okay, nice, you guys got the kill, but... Well... If they cannot fight in this situation, Black Zuri, you have to go away. If you see that somebody's getting locked down, just leave it. It's better one death than two or three persons death. And U Uther barely made... Sorry, Tassar only barely made it out, and Uther for me chasing Tassar got himself killed. <laughs> So he says, like, this is my chance, Zillian, they don't have that many stuns now. I can do something. And he's trying to go for Hanzo, and Hanzo goes away. So he's trying just to go for Varian. <laughs> and Garage just throw him away of Varian that was pretty close. Good move, Garage just saved your another tank. <laughs> your other tank. So the objective is up. And actually, for now, Place Club have two persons dead. If. Is this the moment for Blackheart's booty to come back? They have to do it now. They have to put one person channeling when the other is doing that camp, guys. You're missing time. They make sure they're gonna leave uh, camp pushing. I don't think the camp will last too long because I don't really feel that this fight is gonna last too long. Okay, and items meaning they have one turret and Please Clap have the heal. So let's see. The Barion is trying to go a little bit ham to zone out Morales because Morales, of course, will not stay in there. They are waiting, I don't know, for what. They need someone to sacrifice getting in there, like for example, Karasin. So that way everybody spend all, the all their CCs in that person and actually let Illidan do his thing. But it's kind of... I'm not, I'm not sure if that plan gonna even works because you're basically gonna fight having one person less right away. But this situation is really complicated. 
they decide to not contest to go to defend the top cam and they did their top cam and yeah I feel like they're not planning to contest at all so please clap is completely saving their point they can just go somewhere else and something Okay, don't forget the Garrus is the one that have the heals and he is inside the protector. So Blue maybe if this goes really well the and they get the keep, they may try, maybe, they may try to go for the core and use the heals the Garrus have to um, keep up in the in the core area. So there comes the Illidan trying to do some damage. Um, Baron tried to town and Ooh, there comes the push of the stones of healing and healing it can do nothing. Karazin, they still have more <laughs> more CCs to share Karazin and they use it to kill Karazin. Morales is dead. And Tasa is just running for his life. Yeah, for sure they're just gonna finish the game right here. And it's down. There is a team kill. It's not a team kill because that is over here. But it's basically a team kill. So I guess it's GG. And oh, Hydra, you're so mean saying that. That was, that was such, <laughs> that was such a crazy man. Like guys, Blackheart's booty. What the heck you were thinking when you got that cap? <laughs> so we want to check out the talents. I'm gonna leave the talents in here for a little bit, so you guys can check it out. Um. And congratulations, please, Cap. You got your first victory. Let me escort you one. Oh, there we go. Okay, there is the first win for please, Clap. And... <laughs> <laughs> so, alright. I'm going to wait for in the lobby to see which is going to be the next map to be picked is the turn for Blackheart's booty to decide if they're going to be first pick or map pick so this I feel like this was such a troll game honestly <laughs> it was such a troll game so for now we're just waiting for the team to set up meanwhile I'm going to show up the Volskaya industry is not allowed anymore to be picked so, and okay, so <laughs> so this is the map that are allowed now to be played, and it is Garden of Terrors, Infernals, Curse, um, Alterac, and Eternal Battlefield. So, I'm just going to get out of here and wait for the invitation. There is the invitation and we're going in lobby mode. So once the games I repeat, I have been saying this quite a while before. Every time when I'm doing a cast, whichever team is the winner, I will try always to have an interview with the with the cap. So if you want to make some questions for the captain of whatever team that wins, get your questions ready remember that this stream have three minutes delayed so when you see the game is about to be over that someone is about to to win um, get your questions ready in the chat so when I finish the full screen of the casting of the actual ma game I'm gonna check real quick the chat just to see if you guys have some questions for the for the team leader and I can make those questions for you to 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 him or to her so This time Hydra is making is, is taking her chance or his chance to make fun of Black Hearts booty team. That's gonna be So So I want to say thank you for being active in the chest. Thank you, Silad. Thank you, Coon, for be keeping on track of these streams.
Apparently all teams are ready. And they are playing it. Um, Battlefield of Eternity. If you can see in the background, it is. I don't know if you guys can see with that, Lyris. Everyone is ready. I don't know why they're not starting. When they're not starting, you're just gonna keep talking. <laughs> so I think it is true. They locked down in that draft like really early. They like locked down Illidan and Morales right away. It makes your plans really obvious. That left all the rest of the enemy team to literally get the rest of their picks to counter you. So if I'll be in my cards booty and I see all the, the speaks that are just made to come through early then I would like to ram them right away, don't waste my time. So here we come. This is Battlefield of Eternity and the first band goes for Black Hearts Booty. They're banning a Nubarag. I think two of them plays a Nubarag. So Ben and Sylvanas. One more time. I think they're banned Sylvanas before in the last match. And a Nubarag as well. And voila. Okay, I guess this ban is mostly for the actual map because I don't remember have check in please clap there's someone is a kind of Bala main. And Alarak. Alright, our tennis is free to be picked, guys. There's a lot of heroes that are really good in this map. Crusade like calls. our tennis, Lunara, Krami, Karas in there. Um, to be picking how everyone is doing is Johanna Tank first pick in many many matches, and I'm starting to <coughs> get tired <coughs> of it. <laughs> it's like I'm, I know that Johanna is a really strong and burstable and a stable tank, but comes there comes Luther with Hans again, but this time they're playing with the Abelo. So I wonder what kind of come are they planning on do this time, Blackheart's booty. Oh, they may play for Suljin. All right. Recently, Ariel got, let's say, buff, but I don't really feel like it's a buff. They make her kind of more useful. The problem with the Ariel before is that she was only good to be played with certain teams of their hero because of this problem of getting the energy. You could make there it goes their tennis band. You could get energy with some talents built by yourself, but it's not that that a good idea because that makes you actually expose yourself to try to get the energy for yourself. So now she's allowed to get more energy easily and she's now getting peak more often it's not like a buff or she's just like just like no more able to be used with different compositions it's like the early game then the heal that she can do in early game even she having the full energy power they're not that strong they're just decent there comes Lamin and the Stukov okay Looks like they may not be planning on racing. At least they're not doing a composition for race by basic attacks like Black Heart's booty is planning on. Aria could be good too in this map if she's fighting against someone which damage come from basic attacks because she have a talent level 13 that she can blind person when she use her Q. There you go, Charles and Kerrigan. Oh my god, that's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage that Ari can get from almost any of them. And yeah, 
I think this time Blackheart's booty is kind of mad at Dan and they're going for so much damage and going to race, they're going for kills. And it goes Artes. Artes is gonna that that's so obviously they, they got Artes used to counter trial. We all know that. They maybe got Artes too to root Kerrigan, so she cannot jump that much. At least Suljin will be safe from it if he keeps the distance. But Stukov can also be really annoying for Trial and Kerrigan if he knows how to use his silence. So I feel like Bloodhearts really have a lot of damage, but they have to be careful in the moment when they're engaging because Stukov and Artis can counter them so bad and Li Ming is gonna blow up their faces. So they're probably just gonna defend like with that combo and they're going to leave a Hanzo DPS in the Immortal. And I think their soul laner might be Artas, I guess. Maybe Artas versus Thrall. They probably. I don't know if they're gonna leave soul lane in Sulji. I know that he needs the stacks, but we'll see. Alright, so. For uh, Please Club, we got Lazy Hydra in Stukov, Wolves in Li Ming. And Lotharine Hansel, Golden Artist, and Lysandra in the Avalov. For Blackheart Spooty, we have Yilan and Johanna Troll and I. Oops, somebody pause. Hang on, guys, somebody needs to go to the bathroom. What the fuck? What? What? Oh! Oh, it is true! It is true! I don't know if you guys are looking at the shed, but it's actually true. Simple the battle begins in 10 seconds. It is true. It's some skins that are not allowed in Hero Lunch, and one of the skins is this skin that Diablo has. So they can remake. I was wondering why they're banning certain skins, and the reason is because this, the skins sometimes make the hero looks completely different and may confuse the person to know what actually which hero is. And some skins actually change the size of the hitbox. Some stupid and ironic, but yeah, some skins when you mount up or something like, like for example, the artist one part skin or something, like, or something like that, they actually change a little bit it's almost like minimum that you cannot even tell but it actually changed a little bit the size of the hate box so there comes the first meet well it's not me bottom fight pokes and these are the talents they're taking are trying to get some nope that wouldn't happen they have a lot no with Johanna stoppable so like I thought it would be trial and Arthas in the top and there it comes like Johanna is hitting in here the tail is hitting in here everyone knows they're there but they feel like they're hiding <laughs> This is how it goes. Um, he's getting so pucks from hand, so yellow is still trying to 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 grab someone, flip someone, stun someone against the wall. Oh my God! And Artas just killed Troll. If we t if we hear is someone that is a low a World of Warcraft lore fan, you, do you really think the a PVP like in the actually World of Warcraft story meaning? Win a fight against Arthas? Troll versus Arthas, who will win? You let me know <laughs> in the commentaries in the stream. So, alright, please clap. You just went right away for uh, the button camp and they were able to do with much troubles. Because Kerrigan came to soak the lane while Troll was dead, so it allows them the chance to do it without Black Heart really be able to contest this camp. So, for now, there are just a little bit of experience ahead. It's not that much. Blackheart's food is already starting their bruiser camp. Um, Please Club is doing it as well. 
Artis needs mana. Artis always needs mana. I think one of the best friends of Artis could be a Decker Kane or something and dropping pots on him and giving him mana. And really slowly. Like oh that, just like getting really slow even more. So there it goes. Um, Blackheart's Buddy was trying to go right away to DPS more so they know they have a lot of damage to share. They comes only mean pokes, I don't know why Ariel was sitting in there. The other trying to get but they got some out, they're actually pretty weak. For now, Troll is just defending the immortal. You have to be careful, Troll, they're all over there. It would be awesome if Carry can find a way to actually get the combo of Wu in and stun and then the immortal stun then over again. That could be a lot of damage. It could be it could be actually such a difference in, in team fights. Alright, they are defending what actually Troll is pushing a little bit more. Oh my god, they're trying to fight. Carry can dive in, she's trying to get Lenin, she's dead. Johanna tried to go with her but she couldn't reach him. Charles is trying to go in too, even if having one less uh, Blackheart's Buddy is trying to fight Johanna, it's really weak. Ariel heal her. Oh my god, she barely made it out with the trade. The Yellow got a stun because he's so big. <laughs> and they are one and one down. Hans have to go B, he's weak and he also have no mana. And this is the chance for Blackheart's Buddy to do some DPS. Come on guys, you, can, you guys know that you can't win that, that race, you have so much DPS. I know they have hands, but it's like, this is a freaking tree assassin. <laughs> so Stuka would know if they're his basic attack, he's hard and he's DPS and too. And yeah, Bl Blackheart's booty won the first objective, they got the first immortal. It's not that strong, but it's still the first objective, it can help at least to get the wrong wall. And the immortal is going bottom. So they're getting ready to push with it in bottom while Johanna Troll is staying in top. Well, I guess they are leaving the. Well, they're on the lead besides Aurel and, and, and. So, let's see. So they have to find a way to protect that immortal from the hands on the new post. Oh, there comes Johanna. Johanna, you're late for the party. Yeah, there you go. Pull in. There, it, that's it. Carrie can have to be careful when she's diving in to do that combo because of the Zook of Thailand go can get her killed pretty easily. Or can even not allow her to do her combo, she's just gonna dive in just to die. And that's actually a little bit of what she just did. So, um, please clap know they have one last and they're gonna start go doing right away the camp. Because they know they will not be able to contest. They have one last. Joanna knows they are there, but the team is not confident they'll keep dying for it. Troll needs to go back to the base, that's hello Arta to get some extra soak. Oh no, Kerrigan is actually coming to uh, get the soak. Um, for now, Button they're just probably just trying to defend in safety that camp. The objective is about to be up in a little bit, it's already highlighted in the minimap. So I wonder if the Blackheart Booty have two persons in top, they should be actually getting the top camp and trade it. Their coach John is diving in with allowing them to get some folks. Let's check one more time how the talents are going. Let me do it this way because you're gonna see some stacks. There we go. This is how the talents are going. They're doing both. They're doing their camps as well. These are the scores. So Hydra is doing the camp with the hands only me. They need some heals. And Blackheart Spoody already got their camp and then he's trying to get an artist in one. The artist said because he knows that he doesn't have mana, they come to die because he was already rude about Troll and nice. They got the kill. Now, Please Cap is in problems because they have one less to contest the objective. And they decide to do the camp. Guys, you just kill Arthas, keep going for your objective. I don't think that Cam works the time of the Arthas death. Well, like Black, like, Please Clap is like, okay, we're just gonna say DPS and it's no matter. It's no matter at all. 
Now they are forced, besides the black hearts, booty can win that race, but they are forced to defend because they have. Oh, they're actually attacking. Alright. Because carrying it, you have to kill that Asuka that is countering you. So she dives in Asuka. The Asuka made it out to take the hands of the sun. Johanna is diving. Asuka is trying to finish the job. She gets killed by Liming Pokes. Troll is trying to finish uh, Artes, but he's having a hard time because Artes countered him, but he is dead anyways. Thanks to the support of the rest of his team. And now Sunjin <laughs> does start healing over there. It's like they have a limit, they're gonna poke your face and you have no life. Sun doesn't sit in there. <laughs> he might could leave. Sunjin might could leave, but not healing in that place. He should like keep walking and going away. So this is the time for please clap to finish the Immortal. A stick of is trying to defend a little bit the uh, that camp they did over there. And Diablo is engaged in Ariel. Ariel is really weak. And forget about it. Godly Ming. Ariel is still alive. But she's really weak. She's counting on Johanna. She, did she get the talent to get the uh, energy from you? Yeah. No? What? The heck? Well, apparently. <laughs> Apparently Aria knows that all her team can do damage them and that she don't need to get extra energy for anyone else. Not even for herself or not even from the tank, so I don't care, I make my own energy. <laughs> so they are trying to burn down that immortal as fast as they can. Has to take any chance to get some pokes over there. Took of his silence the Aria. So they can have like a little bit hard time <laughs> and so meet the hammer again. And then comes Johanna. The, I don't know why she used heroic. She probably was trying to scare them away. And she, yes, Johanna got it. I must rest for a time. And Carrie is rotating to butter. I wonder if she's rotating to butter because she wants to gank Arthur one more time or they're planning on doing the camp. Blackheart's boot is rotating, rotating to bottom. And I wonder why Please Clap is not keeping the pressure on the top. They can actually finish that four. They realize the Please Clap is the same in top, so they're coming back to top. So Kerrigan, yeah, Kerrigan rotates the body to actually do the camp. He, she says, like, dude, I don't need everybody to do a camp. It's fine with Troll and me. Just go back to top and defend that board. So uh, Please Clap is knows that and they're trying to trade it doing the top camp and the sure Johanna wants to contest he's, he's trying to get in there and <laughs> soon go flip and stun and there comes Johanna dive carrying is trying to gank from the other side she missed the thing and there is oh it looks like they're gonna steal it they're gonna steal it they got it please clap is trying to run away from the live carrying ones that leaving that so bad oh 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 that was so close I thought the would make it for a second, oh, never mind. There it comes, the incredible yellow charge that passed through walls. I always thought it was so stupid. It's like you have no idea how happy I got when Diablo got nerfed the range of his charge because he, he cannot get that talent anymore to get that crazy range. But I always thought it was extremely stupid because it makes no sense that you can pass through walls when you are charging. It's like, you know, the Abel of the materialize himself, he passed through the wall and it charged in the other side of the wall. That makes no sense at all. So please, hero of the storm, don't let Garbus freaking pass through walls when he's charging. That shit makes no sense at all. <laughs> you know, the Abel is also, it's not just a demon, it's a ghost. It's a spirit, he passed through walls. Ooh, ooh, there comes the stuns, there comes the Diablo stun, there comes the Arthur, a great, amazing combo of CCs. They got Ari and Sul'jin, carrying and trying to do something in their trial too. There comes the slow, it's because it's really low, he can barely, he can barely made it out. They're still fighting and they got trial and carry and kill, boost the tank. Ouch. Ouch. I not sure why Black Hearts booty is inside the engage there. It's like guys, if you know that your healer and your range DPS just got killed, don't pick a fight. 
right away. Because, I, okay, fine, they, they, they waste their CCs, but you guys are fighting a 3v5. Even if the Stuka were weak, he can still help from the distance with his time. And while this, all of this is going on, and this camp is completely finishing the bottom four. And by bottom four, so please clap is going to push hard from top. Something is I would like to say to the people that is watching at me is this cast got requested by Lazy Hydra and I appreciate the person that watched my stream. So if you like the way they cast and you want to get your game cast and you play for an NA server, you can let me know that you want me to cast for you and I can check. Oh, there he comes, engage the stones, the silence, and that Sultan is dead. Oh wow. That they have a lot to see. Let's have a lot to see to start a team fight to engage. Nice art of the Roid. They don't want to let the Timor to get damaged at all. They kind of defend it because they don't have range damage to defend it. Scary again is going to die. It's not much the Ari can do. Ariel is dead too because she couldn't get out of Arthur's bubble. And Troll. No, oh, Troll. Um, I forget how I was saying. Oh yeah. So after I do the interview, I check on you guys, and you guys can let me know if you want me to cast for you. I can check my 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 if I have the days up, and I will let you know if I can actually do it. So I guess this is game. <laughs> this is completely game. I'm so sorry, Black has good, but you guys were right. <laughs> um. Congratulations, please clap for your second victory in this game actually were pretty fast. So yeah. I feel like they were really outmatched. There he goes. Congratulations, please clap and your victory. I'm going to check. I'm going to leave over here the talents so you guys can see it. There goes the talents. While I'm trying to look for please cap the leader just to see if he wants an interview. <laughs> so let me check real quick what he replies me just to see if you guys have a um, question. Whoa, he, that was fast. He already replied me back. Okay. Okay, I'll meet you. Let me go to the interview room. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, there he goes. Voice is connected. Okay, I just have to wait for him to come here. <laughs> Hello. Hello, how are you? I'm fine, congratulations on your kind of curiously game. It's just like, uh, I'm, I'm actually glad that you guys make the, the two wins right away. But I have some funny questions to do on you because we actually were having so much fun looking at Black's booty decisions. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Th those were some fun games for sure. Like, um, we kind of knew what to expect, but it was still pretty nerve wracking. Well, okay, you know, if you have seen my cast before, you know, I used to do some kind of question for like the fall and you know, the first question we always going to be, how, how, what do you feel about your team performance? Uh, I think, I think we did pretty well. Uh, there were a few points, I think, where we got a little bit too wound up and kind of uh, pushed a bit too far or kind of memed around a bit too much. But um, I think we drafted really well and that kind of just with good play got us the game <laughs> especially in the first game <laughs> yeah for sure what you guys thought like what you guys thought when you guys saw that we're looking morales first pick and then healing it <laughs> yeah so um i actually i write a recap for our division every week and they ran that same comp or a very similar comp during oh, really? the first week 
So I knew it was a, yeah, so I knew it was a possibility, but I really didn't expect them to pull it out. Um, that's, they had run it on Tomb before, and so we banned out Tomb thinking they wouldn't run it. But uh, yeah, so we, it, I was pretty surprised and still kind of nervous, um, but uh, we drafted around it uh, and we went for the double support and for a lot of CC. Uh, oh yeah, it worked out. For sure. It's like, I was looking at you guys comp and I was kind of, surprised because it's not really common at least not in NA that people pick like two healers it is yeah. kind of more common in Europe but um, literally everything that you talk every hero that you talk in some sort of way we're countering Illidan yeah so I was um, I was making fun during my stream saying like if I be Black's booty and I see you're gonna fight against that comp, I gotta like right quick right away that map and just trap over again, just accept the defeat. Because it will be so hard for them to actually do something like everything, like the Anna Grenades, the Garrett's Town, the Barion Town, the Uther Punch of the Stones that he can do, like literally Ely that we're not able to do anything. Yeah. That was kind of, that was the point, so I'm glad it worked out. So, another question, do you think, because this is something that I was thinking and talking, do you think if they actually, because they actually didn't get a tank, do you think that comp they were trying to do will work better if they actually get a tank that can help Illidan in the front when he was diving in? Or will it be the uh, same thing? I think a taunt would, or I think a tank would definitely help. Like, honestly, if I was in their position, I might go for picking Garrosh because um, that removes Garrosh as an option against Illidan and he's pretty strong into Illidan um, and then it, like the additional CC makes it so much easier for Illidan to be able to kind of do his thing um, so I, I would definitely say so I see well besides you because now I say besides you because of a friend the name is Nyquil I'm just kidding besides you uh, who do you think was the MVP in your team who do you think that that was the one that carry all the games um that's actually that's pretty hard i think uh lothair played amazingly on hanzo both games normally he only likes going the q build um but he played w build both games uh and he did way better than i think he normally does um i think uh wolf also did really well but i i think it was i think it was a group effort so i I, I wouldn't say it was all one person, but those are the two who I think probably stood out. Well, he actually had a little bit of pressure in the first game because he was the only assassin. So yeah, for when, sure. when I was starting to see that you guys were getting some locks for actually Illidan, I wasn't expecting that literally the whole team would lock Illidan. I was thinking like, oh, Hanso have the pressure on because I saw like Garrosh and then Hanso and then the two healers. And then like Hanso gonna have the responsibility to delete uh, or kill really fast Illidan while he's actually a stun. So you have like a kind of pressure that he have to do the damage to actually k make him get killed till they actually is before the stuns run out of time. But then I realized that you guys <laughs> got all the picks just to stun him over there. So it doesn't matter. You have time. He can take his time. Yeah. So where you guys were drafting, like what, what was the plan where you guys were drafting for Battlefield of Eternity? Because you saw they all were getting like three assess and with a lot of damage. So what you guys were thinking in, in that draft pick? Yeah, so um, we, uh, we knew beforehand that they like to do some really aggressive uh, picks. Um, so I, we were, I, was, I wasn't sure if they would go, would go for Kerrigan because normally you only really play her on shrines. But we knew it was an option, so we wanted to pick heroes like Li Ming and Hanzo who have good race and who are also able to like escape by teleporting or by jump. Uh, right. And then we just, w and then we went for Arthas and Stukov because they're really good at peeling and disengaging um, as well as shutting down that aggression. But right, actually I was thinking that Stukov can, <laughs> Stukov and Arthas would directly counter Troll and Kerrigan the way when they will dive in. So, um, how many times do you have with your team up? Like, is this new this season or this team having like far longer than that? together uh so this is our second season for the team uh last season we played in division four and we got first in that division and we actually got to the finals of the epic cup so that was really exciting for us um but at the end of the season two of our players had to leave and so we got two more two new players this season 
Um, so it's it's still some of the same players, but we do have some new guys. Uh, Golden and uh, Wolf are new this season. Right. Well, that's that's great. And what what you guys were thinking when you decided to do please the sorry please clap? What you guys were thinking when decide that name? Um. So we we actually spent a really long time discussing in Discord, and none of us really had any ideas. Um. And I don't remember who it was. I think it was one of the guys who isn't on the team anymore. Um. Came up with it. Like we were just kind of throwing out names, and he was just like, "Well, we could do something like clap." Please or something. So we, <laughs> we, we did please clap in the end, but uh, yeah, that's kind of. We just kind of spent a long time thinking, and then eventually came up with it. Oh, that's great! Well, is something else you would like to say to the viewers right now? And having uh, average of twelve people that is looking at you. Um. Well, thanks everyone for watching. Uh, hopefully. Uh, if you aren't participating in uh, Heroes Lounge, I would definitely like encourage like check it out, sign up as a sub for this season, and maybe for a free agent team or find some friends for next season. Like it's a great organization and it's really fun. Um, and shout outs to my team, of course. They played great tonight. Um, they didn't they didn't ignore my shot calls too much. So uh, <laughs> that happens with all new teams. It's like if people start shot calling, be like what. Dude, we have to do the camp right now. It wouldn't be worth anymore. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, oh, and, and, th and thanks to you for casting. Uh, I'm, I look forward to going and watching that. Aw, it's okay. Thank you. Thank you for actually being active in the chat. I really appreciate it. For sure. So, well, I will let you celebrate your victory. That was like pretty quick, like 30 minutes game or something like that. <laughs> So, right. have a good night. Thank you so much for letting me hang out with you. All right, thank you. Bye. Well, that's it for today. Congratulations, please, please clap in the victory. Um, what else can I say? You guys uh, have a really great team. You need to like improve and get better and better. Keep participating in Hero Launch. So, like I always say, if you want to see this cast all over again, you can check it in my Twitch videos or you can wait for me for tomorrow to upload it in my YouTube channel. If you want to know where's which one is my link, is in the panels. Or you can wait for these guys to upload the replay in Hero Launch and uh, oops. And this is where you can find it. These are the links of all the Hero Launch contacts. And I'm gonna check something real quick. So Thanks a lot for watching. Thank watching. Thank, thanks for keeping track of this. I'm trying to be an uh, active caster of NA server because it's actually really few persons that cast for NA. So if you like a lot here on lunch and all these competitions and check out which is going to be your next opponents and all of that, I recommend you to keep track of my streams because I'm going to be casting as much as I can because of course I cannot cast all the games. <laughs> as much as I can, the games. You can also tell me uh, your world con, your work a lot thing. Um, and you can actually tell me like even it's not your game but you really you know that those guys like play really good and you want to know about it and it's like hey spell out cast for these guys i know this guy's gonna have a good game and i want to see how they play or something like that you can just leave the leave it in the chat i will check it out when i end and well congratulations one more time please clap and thanks for coming i'm hoping the um, tomorrow i will not cast because i actually have a game but maybe for Tuesday, I might be looking for who else I'm going to cast. But thanks a lot for watching, and i see you in the next cast. Bye!